Hello, and welcome to the exciting series called Inertia, Become a World-Class Concept Artist, hosted by industry veteran James Don Vito. Since graduating from the world-renowned Art Center College of Design in Los Angeles in 1995, James has worked as a concept artist for some of the largest studios in the world, Universal, Sony Pictures, Warner Brothers, Mattel, Nintendo, and many others. His insights and experience are invaluable to both the beginner and professional. As a leader in this field, James is one of the few in the industry to offer valuable insights with where to start, what strategies to take, and how to accomplish your goals. In addition to this, James has an amazing heart for people. He understands what it is like to have a dream but not know where to start. With the Inertia series, he will help you reach your goal by sharing his many years of hard-earned knowledge and experience. It is my pleasure to introduce to you a veteran concept artist, published author, and founder of FusionFilter.com, James Donvito. Wow, thank you, Rebecca. I don't think I've ever sounded so good. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, welcome to Inertia. I'm very happy to be here with you. I'm very excited to start my series with you. Uh, thank you so much for being here. It's going to be great. Um, so let's get rolling. First thing on the list, what is a world-class concept artist? First, let's talk about what a concept artist is and does. A concept artist is someone who generates visual designs for props, characters, or environments which do not exist. Okay, this applies to production industries such as film, animation, video games, and to a smaller extent, industrial design. Typically, you're asked to work up a design from the ground up based on a written or verbal description. And this can include rough sketches initially, and you're typically guided by a director or art director who is pretty much driving the project. And you're also contributing to the visual style of the project, which is very cool, but uh, you're definitely working under someone who is guiding you, directing you, and kind of working with you to help shape the visual style of that project. So how is the concept artist different from being an illustrator? By definition, an illustrator is typically not concerned with the design of the subject being illustrated. They are only concerned really with making the subject given to them look as good as possible. For example, the Los Angeles cityscape, or a person, or even a character. But there's really no design in that piece of art itself. It's um, really a piece of art that is created for promotion, advertising, magazines, book covers, and so being a concept artist is really about having the illustration skills you need coupled with your ideas to arrive at a final design. Let's talk about what it means to be a world-class concept artist. This simply means having the skills to make it happen and being successful by your definition. How do you define success? Is it what the world says about being rich and famous and uh, being some kind of Wall Street concept artist extraordinaire? You know, I'd probably not. It's probably more about working in the career you want, maybe just paying the bills, not having to work a part-time job um, to fulfill your career as a concept artist, or maybe just means being able to provide for a family. Think about what you think being successful means in your life and as you pursue this career. Because if you're going after what other people are telling you, then you're really just chasing the wind. You really are trying to fulfill what someone else says is success. And we don't want that. We want to stay inspired. We want to stay creative. And we want to meet our goals and our expectations of what we think that means and let that drive us. So spend a little time thinking about that because it really is important. And you put those concepts together and that's what we have as being a world-class concept artist. Okay, so now that we have that under our belt, let's talk about the three realities of a concept artist. Number one, being a concept artist is the most hands down, most desired role in the art department. It's very, very competitive, and in order to stay on the game, you must stay on top through constant improvement. Now, this is something that is kind of a great thing about being an artist, and also kind of a, you know, <laughs> A maintenance thing about being an artist, you know, is that you have to draw every day. 
you really need to get out there and be around other artists in workshops, in seminars, and just really kind of learn to adopt that lifestyle. It's very, very important to stay connected. It's important to hone your skills every day. And it's something that you'll see even veteran concept artists doing and master artists. They really do that. And that's why they stay that way, because they are out there, they are connecting, they are constantly learning and improving their skills. Number two, original ideas are the key to your survival. You know, as a concept artist, your subject matter is often beyond your control. It's uh, often dictated to you what you're going to draw, and the items will often be handed to you on a list. But it is very important to be good with original ideas as well, because there are times that you will be able to contribute to subject matter you'll see in a production, a video game, a movie. And it's, it's very important not only to have great drawing skills, but also to be able to contribute great ideas, uh, verbal ideas, written ideas, as to what this uh, creature can do, you know, um, what this vehicle can do, how it can unfold. Uh, and it's really important to keep your mind fresh. And often staying inspired is one of the things that will help you to do that. And that's why you need to continue to not only hone your drawing skills and your painting skills, but also keep reading books, keep watching movies, keep feeding your brain, because that's really what's going to keep you going in the long run. And in order to stay competitive, it's what you need. The third reality of being a concept artist is that you need to understand that your concept art is just that. It's used for pre-production. It's used to drive the project into production. But your art may not be seen in the final production per se. You may see your environment built as a 3D model and textured by someone else. But um, that is really what a concept artist is. Your job is to create that piece of 2D art and make it sing, make that thing hot, make that thing really stand out and go, wow, that thing needs to be built. That thing needs to happen. And that's what you want to do. You want to inspire other people with your art. What might happen is you might see your concept art in a cool art of book after the project comes out. You might see it in a making of video or something like that. But you have to be content with not seeing your actual art in the finished product because your art drives the production of the product. And someone else takes your designs, takes your ideas, and puts them into the form of a physical prop, perhaps, or a 3D model. And that is what you're going to see in the end. So if you're happy with not seeing your actual art in the final product, then uh, you're ready for the glory of being a concept artist. Okay, so we talked about what it means to be a world-class concept artist. We've talked about some of the realities of being a concept artist in the production world. Now let's just take a minute to talk about inertia and where we're going for the future. You can look forward to this series covering the entire spectrum of what it means to be a concept artist, a world-class concept artist. And we're going to be talking about education, self-taught versus going to school, we're going to be talking about art and design principles, illustration technique for the industry, full-time versus freelance, pros and cons, how to get the job, the portfolio, where to find job leads, promoting yourself as an artist, networking, cold calling, the lifestyle of a concept artist, how to stay on top, and building your empire. All very important and all very essential. Okay, so as we're coming in for a landing, I want to tell you about a feature of this show called Inertia Live. This is an opportunity to call in and speak with me live along with other people in a conference call environment. This is going to be great because you'll not only be able to ask me questions about what I've mentioned previously, but you'll also be able to ask me questions about future topics that I haven't covered yet. So for more details on how and when this is all going to happen, visit FusionFilter.com and click on Inertia. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much for coming by and giving a listen. Next time we'll be covering the top five skills studios are looking for when hiring. Stay inspired, keep drawing, and you'll be hearing from you soon. Take care. I'm James Don Vito.